Sniper Elite VR is kind of a natural next evolution for Sniper Elite. We've moved the gameplay to full first person. It seemed like the natural fit for such an immersive experience. You have full movement control over the player, you can go everywhere, you can explore, much in the same way that you can through other games in the Sniper Elite franchise. It was very important to us not to make this an on-rails experience. It's a completely free-roaming, open sniper game. The story for the game has been written by Tony Schumacher, who's the author of the dramatic World War II John Rossett novels. Set in Italy in World War II, the same region of the world as Sniper Elite 4, but it's a brand new story with brand new levels. We have some really fantastic levels to experience, from picturesque villages to airfields and airstrips, underground bunkers and things like that. So some really fantastic places for you to play. One of the key things in Sniper Elite is the authenticity of the weapons. There are loads of the classic World War II weaponry that you'd expect to see in Sniper Elite coming back for the game. There's submachine guns and pistols and sneaky stuff like the well rod and that kind of thing. And of course there's the fantastic long range shooting with the sniper rifle. We fully support the PlayStation Aim controller and the Move controllers as well, and obviously the DualShock, and each of them brings a different kind of uh, experience to the game. With the Move controllers, you get to use both your hands independently. With the Aim controller, you get a really cool feel of actually holding a rifle. For the first time, you can kind of lean over edges, lean around corners. When you bring that scope up to your eye with the VR controllers and the scope really comes up to your eyes, it's really amazing, it blows you away. You really get this sense of, of holding the gun and the sense of weight and power that comes with that is really impressive in VR. One of the key elements of Sniper Elite is our slow motion bullet cam, where you can track a bullet through the air to its target. We completely rebuilt the bullet cam from the ground up, designed to work comfortably with the VR experience. That's something I'm very proud of that we've managed to pull off because that was something that we saw as being a difficulty in the development and it's paying off brilliantly. It's a whole new level of intensity that you won't have experienced before. Cameron and I have always believed that fear is the great obstacle and that confronting your fears, whatever they may be, is a gift you give yourself and the world. That's why we've made this new VR experience. This isn't just a bunch of silly tricks and pranks. This is VR's potential realized, all to help you overcome fears such as fear of window washing a high rise. Nope, 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 nope. Fear of being shrunk down to fit inside Teller's mouth. It's less scary. It's just weird. While a bullet is heading towards you. Fire! Fear of spiders. <laughs> Fear of being trapped in a box filling with water. I wasn't afraid of this before, but I am now. Guys. Guys! Fear of sorting eggs. It's really not that scary. While having asshole friends. <laughs> Fear of reading the greatest American novel of all time in a single sitting. Oh yes, the only fear you have to overcome first is the fear of wasting money on a frivolous collection of VR games. This is the best money I ever spent. So proud of you, Monte. <laughs> A bunch of pointless tricks and heartless pranks to pull on your guests. Penn and Teller VR. Frankly, unfair, unkind, unnecessary, and underhanded. Just another day on this wretched island. The endless cycle of violence continues. I can only trust this blood sword, and like me, it has seen better days. When all of this here was mine, when the seas bowed before my will, 
souls trembled in my wake. The countless nights spent here in the revelry are now but a distant memory. This is what eternity gets me. precious island was usurped by the great architect. He trapped us here to create a being powerful enough to destroy the darkness unleashed by one of his disciples. Doing so, he seeks to regain what was once lost to him. To that end, he has bestowed upon every warrior in this damnable conflict an amulet of eternity and commanded us to battle one another. Endlessly. Those who dare to defy this command are consumed by the slimes. Only the victorious will be granted freedom. The rest will vanish into oblivion. Last hope.
Thank <laughs> you. 